Big news came out of West Ham United Football Club today, and it is the news that Mark Noble is coming back to West Ham. Not as a player. Obviously, he's retired and his playing days are now long gone. We've all been through the emotions of him retiring, but the really lovely thing about it is that he is coming back to West Ham as he has been appointed West Ham's new sporting director. Before I get any more detail, don't forget, guys, that if you are watching this video, please do like and subscribe to it. And also, as you know, I do work a full-time job and I've had a bit of a busy schedule recently and with it being the international break, I just don't get a lot of time to make videos as much as I want to. Doesn't mean to say the channel's dead, but I'm just trying to fill you in with uh, how I'm doing things. Anyway, back to the main news before I go off on too much of a tangent. Mark Noble is starting his new position as sporting director on the 2nd of January 2023. West Ham starting the new year with some very good news. And although one may look at it on paper and say that Noble is not as qualified as other candidates for this role, he certainly has to have some involvement in the club that he dedicated all of his adult life to. Well, nearly all of his adult life bar two loan spells when he was a teenager. Noble is the perfect person to be sporting director at West Ham. He'll be having an everyday involvement at the club with everything from managerial influence to decisions on the club structure to transfers. I think in terms of transfers, this is going to be a big role because Noble knows the kind of characteristics and traits that one player is going to need in order to play for this club. We already have seen a shift in attitude of players with Rob Newman signings, i.e. signing players for the right money and the right value and for the correct contribution to the team. But we need to get in players who are not just here to steal a living and players who can progress at West Ham. Noble's going to have a certain criteria when it comes to transfers and dealing with players. I think with the manager... He's going to have to have a really good bond here. And the pair have been very close. Noble and Moyes did speak to each other regularly through the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Noble is or has been Moyes' mouthpiece in the dressing room and was a true leader, motivator and role model who represented this club with the highest levels of dignity, humility and respect. Noble's had to take some time away for, for, to spend time with his family, and that's completely fine. He did say that he was going to take a break with his family because they don't really get to see much of him when he's playing, so it's only fair that he gives back to his wife, son and daughter. This role is going to be very hands-on, but that doesn't bother him. Um, he will have an influence on the board of directors as well. And that's where the daily running of the club comes in. He's going to be influencing the owners, Kratinsky, and other investors at this club. It's a very big um, task, shall we say. One that does come with a lot of baggage and pressure. But to Mark Noble, pressure really isn't a thing. It's something that he's thrived on. Um, I suppose pressure's always been a big deal to West Ham. You know, pressure to stay in the Premier League, pressure to keep your job at the club long term. But he's he's done all that. And... As West Ham's now moving from, a, what we're hoping is moving into a new age right now, he's coming back as well to add, I think, some knowledge of past traits and attitudes to add into a modern era because you need veteran presence, people of the old to help with the new. It's kind of like how your grandparents teach you lessons about when they were younger, especially, well, mine was different. They, they were born in the 30s and unfortunately they're no longer alive. But, you know, when they said, back in my day, this, back in my day, that, Noble could probably be a bit like that, although he's only 35 years old. He's not exactly old, but, you know, when you compare to players like Ben Johnson, Declan Rice, he's a lot older. Those guys were still in primary school when Noble was an adult. So that shows quite the difference. Overall, I think that Mark Noble's appointment at West Ham is fantastic. It would be wrong for him not to have got a position at this club. And I think that with him at the helm and him helping out with the club, it's certainly a massive boost for the manager, for Rob Newman and for the players. It'll be nice to have him back as someone who has an open door policy 
and can really be a good motivator for the team. And right now, we need some motivation. He'll really give the players a kick up the backside as well as uh, tell the manager what's going down and maybe we can see some positive changes. So, welcome back, Mark. Really happy to have you back at West Ham. I was sad to see you retire, but we're glad to have you back now at the club. It, it, it's where you belong. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, then uh, what are you doing? Give it a like. Comment. Please comment on my videos. And please subscribe to my channel. I said please. To do it. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all soon.